What's this with Meta's Llama 3? Is Microsoft going to help us create deep fakes? And have you seen this new robot from uh, Boston Dynamics? It's it's wild. All right, let's talk about it and a little more. So my name's Jordan Wilson. Every single Monday, we do the AI news that matters at Everyday AI. But we also pretty much every day do a five minute, 10 minute recap video or tutorial. So I said, let's combine them both. Let's do the AI news that matters for the week of April 22nd in about five minutes. So let's get this thing going. And there's always more. Go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for our free daily newsletter. We do this literally every single Monday through Friday, every weekday. All right, let's get into it. Here's what you need to know. So first, Mata has just released Llama 3. It's new pretty much open source model. Uh, so here's what you need to know. Here's what's new and different. Well, number one, you don't have to download it anymore. Uh, and you don't have to have a super powerful computer with a fast GPU to run Llama like you did with Llama 2. So now you can just go to meta.ai. So this is a pretty big move here uh, from Meta, you know, kind of taking this, uh, you know, almost this chat GPT approach, right? Uh, with all the other main language models, you can just log on to the website and use them. So that's what we have now from Meta. Uh, there's three different versions. That's what's important here. You have small, medium, and then a large that has not been released yet. And so far, the small version, which is the 8 billion parameter, is out punching some of its other smaller competitors uh, like Gemma from Google and Mistral's uh, 7, uh, 7 billion parameter model. Uh, and then you have the medium model as well. These are uh, all Meta's benchmarks. But the medium model, uh, at least when we're looking at the MMLU benchmark, it is hitting above Gemini's medium uh, model from Google. So Gemini Pro 1.5, as well as Anthropic Claude's medium model uh, Sonnet. So uh, pretty early now, but uh, so far, very impressive. So even if you go to uh, the chatbot arena, which looks at essentially side-by-side -side, uh, evaluations from real humans, if you look at English only, uh, which is pretty, pretty impressive, Llama 3 is already beating literally everyone except for uh, chat GPT or, you know, GPT-4, uh, which is pretty big because it's an open, you know, pretty much open model uh, where all the other top models are closed proprietary like Gemini, like uh, chat GPT, like Anthropic Claude, uh, Anthropic Squad. Next, a super impressive uh, new update that Microsoft shared about in a paper called VESA One. So we have this linked uh, in our newsletter, but I'm going to just give you the, the very, very quick version here. Let's watch uh, real quick about uh, five, five seconds. So all you need for this is a single image, uh, a, an audio clip, and then you can do some control signals. But let's see just kind of how good this is. Ready? One photo uh, in, in source audio. Ready? Have you ever had, maybe you're in that place right now where you want to turn your life around and you know somewhere deep in your soul, there could be some decisions that- That's wild. It is so good. So yeah, we linked that in our newsletter today. So if you want to go check that out, you can. Uh, next but not least, Boston Dynamics just released uh, their newest updated to Atlas. So their old hydraulic humanoid Atlas has been reduced tired and now we have a new electric version with a lot more ai as well so let's go ahead let's take a quick look at that uh from uh from boston dynamics here we'll do a quick little quick preview of their new atlas one robot look at that going all crazy bending its hips backwards i uh, i can i can barely just get out of bed in the morning so uh pretty pretty impressive so far so if you want to know more about the boston dynamics uh new atlas we've shared about this actually a couple of times but uh they just released it just a couple of days ago uh, all right let's keep it going for the ai news that matters uh apple is report uh, according to a new report from bloomberg now working on its own internal model that is going to be edge or uh on device ai so this is you know we're kind of not really sure what's going on because about a month ago uh we saw reports saying that for or its next flagship iPhone model that Apple was going to be working with a third party to use their own model. So whether that was, uh, you, you know, a model from Google, uh, like Gemini Nano or Gemma, or, you know, using a model like uh, OpenAI's uh, GPT. Uh, so previously, uh, we were told for months that Apple was making its own model, spending millions of dollars a day. Then we heard that they were going to be partnering with, you know, maybe Google or something like that. And now we're hearing this newest report from Bloomberg uh, saying that they are, in fact, going to be using their own uh, internal edge AI or on device. So that's when you're not, you know, tapping into the cloud much more secure, faster, all these things. So we're not sure when they might be doing both. 
you know, they might just do the, you know, maybe the Google partnership or they just might use their own. So time will tell, uh, but uh, we will find out probably in June when the Apple Worldwide Developer Conference, WWDC, but, you know, some new reporting there today. Uh, next, we have rumors. People are starting to say, if you go look on Twitter right now, you know, uh, GPT-5 is trending and it has been all week because people saw this, uh, this uh Instagram story from OpenAI where it was a throne with 2022. And they think that's, oh, you know, ChatGPT wants the throne back for the chatbot arena. They want to be number one. Well, no, I don't think that's what it is. There's also a basketball there. Uh, I would say, and, you know, some other people have pointed out that this is more a tribute to Caitlin Clark. And the timing came out right when, uh, you, you know, they were sell the, you know, kind of the nation, right, was celebrating, but there was a uh, celebration for Caitlin Clark, um, the, you know, the Iowa women's basketball team right around the time that she got drafted, number one for the WNBA. So, but also people said, hey, today, April 22nd is Sam Altman's birthday. So that's actually what this is. They're saying April 22nd, Sam Altman's birthday, GPT-5 going for the cr crown. I don't think so. I think that's uh, nonsense, but we'll see. Uh, and then last but not least, there was a... Uh, Ted, Ted, uh, so Ted Talks released a little Sora video here. We'll play about uh, 10 seconds of it. They kind of, people weren't super, super impressed. I thought it was pretty decent. Let's take a quick look. All right, so that is, uh, you know, essentially Ted said, hey, this is this is what the future looks like, something like that. Uh, I think the actual results of the video were pretty good, uh, but people were not apparently a fan. People dragging them, uh, you know, on Twitter said, this is what Ted looks like in 40 years, question mark, a random generated video that doesn't make sense and there's meat slabs in there. Yeah, weird stuff. All right, that's it. Very quick recap on AI news that matters for the week of April 22nd. If this is helpful, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter. Also, please subscribe to this channel. We do usually new tutorials, tips, tricks, or recaps every single weekday, Monday through Friday. Hope this is helpful. We'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.